Uh, we're going to go on to the next segment. Is. So the next segment is um, three sweet things that nerds should be thankful for. Feels like Thanksgiving. Because it's thanks, even though she's dressed up like. <laughs> guess what holiday I love, it is. I love, I love, I love, hey, guess what holiday it is. It's Thanksgiving. See if she's dressed up for Thanksgiving. Uh, no. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> But we should be thankful as nerds. I mean, this past year, just to vent a little bit, um, but in a good way. Like, how many nerd things did we have this year? We have so many nerd things. But I feel like every year there's always something. But it's gotten better. That's what I'm saying. I think this year, among all the other years, like, like I'm speaking for all nerds. I think we should make a consorted effort this year to be thankful. And we have three sweet things that we can be thankful for. You had a really good one. Let me go first uh, because I like yours. Okay. So I, I, I want yours to at least be second or third or whatever. Um, but like, um, but let me go number three, the, fir- the third one, counting down. Um, nerds should be thankful for 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 comic universes that you find in uh, that you find in like movies, TV, just everything, everything multimedia now. Mm-hmm. Just. Uh, the, the fact that, and like, I really mean this, the fact that nerddom has penetrated into like, like the Hollywood monster so that we can, we can enjoy like good cinema. Yeah, the storytelling is very good. The storytelling has gotten a lot better. Like, I mean, I grew up in the 90s, so we had some comic book movies, but the only good ones I can think of is like Blade, it's pretty good. But it really didn't necessarily look like a comic. So it's just like, was well, an adaptation of what the comic used to be. And then they kind of had to like amalgamate it for cinema to make it palatable. Yeah. Um, and then I think Matrix was like the first time where it's like, hey, we can make something comic-esque and we can actually make it for, for a modern audience, for everyone to enjoy. But we didn't have any like actual comic movies or anime movies and stuff like that. Yeah. Like this year in particular, and I'm just I'm just reminded of this saying that too, in terms of anime, we had Battle Angel. We had Alita Battle Angel. I forget the movie came out this year. I have no idea what that is. Alita Battle Angel? Okay, so when I grew up, when I was growing up, there were like all these like anime, uh, mangas out there. Um, of course, like the classics, like Dragon Ball, Sailor Moon, That's One Piece, mean. stuff like that. Um, some of the more epic ones, I was too young to understand them, but one of them was Battle Angel Alita. Um, and I never even really got into, like, admittingly, just because it was just too adult for me. But there were, like, so many of these other mangas out there. Finally, like, they made the push, and then we have Alita Battle Angel, which is... Oh, is Alita the... The one with that girl that's yeah. on Cyborg? Yeah! yeah. I've seen the and that, that's... That's a... And, and, like, I mean, I'm not super familiar, like, but I... I, I saw basically the manga on the silver screen it's like they didn't change a lot of it and that's what like i'm happy about because they didn't change a lot they just just like we'll, we'll clean it up we'll make it so that like it kind of makes sense but it looked just as as like manga or anime rich in terms of like of, of, of the world of the universe mm-hmm. um and it didn't it, it didn't take too many liberties in changing that and that's, that's what cool. i love yeah, like, I've been wanting to see that one. Yeah, like, well, like in, in terms of cinema, in terms of like cinema and comics or cinema and nerddom, like what, what did you like this year? What did I like? Yeah, and there was a lot to like. Avengers. Avengers? What you like about it? It just like, it was the pinnacle of the whole mm-hmm. franchise. Well, I, yeah, I think so too. Yeah. I, I like the... It was that, mo- like, that moment that we were all waiting for, but like <coughs> not really because we didn't mm-hmm. want it to end. I, yeah, a part of me didn't, but I knew, like, um, you know what it felt like for me? It felt like ending a comic series. Yeah, but then it I really feel like did. they're going to always find a way to make a new thing. Yeah, and that's why, like, I was glad that it ended. I felt bad a little bit, mm. but I also was so, it's bittersweet because at the same time, I was just like, like, when you read, when you read a comic, like, they'll have different stories. But every story needs to end. 
So like when I'm reading like like, and I'm not reading this as often because I, I wasn't as much into American comics. Mm. Well, I was like I was, but not I never read fully because I couldn't afford them. <laughs> Um, like on a, on a weekly basis, but you really things like Superman comics or Amazing Spider-Man or Detective Comics They always have like this whole like oh, here's here's the here's the comic every week And it it lasts for a certain certain length and it has to end the story Batman doesn't end Superman doesn't end Spider-Man doesn't end but that storyline ends Yeah, and that's what that's what Avengers felt like Avengers Endgame felt like this is the end of this storyline But it's not the end of the Avengers. Yeah, that's why, that's why that's I, why I it. think it's yeah, no, I agree with you. Like, I really like that. And I'm thankful that we can finally experience something like that on the screen. A 10 slash 12 year um, enjoyment of a comic book storyline, but on the silver screen, it's awesome. Yeah. I really love that. Um, number two. That's you. Oh. <laughs> I really like yours too. Uh, well, with my family, the reason why I became a nerd was because my dad, he always introduced me to different games uh -huh. and he had all the systems like Sega, GameCube, PS4, mm -hmm. PS2, PS1, PS? Is it PS1? PS1 is just PS, but alright, yeah. PS, yeah. See, whatever. But um, mm -hmm. yeah, just being able to share that with my dad. Yeah. And I like, yeah, the, the two generations are now just like, you have an older generation. Um, that's appreciated like all the all, all the foundational like game systems and games that came out But now you have a new generation that can share that like back in the day like I mean I had my uncle maybe and he's just like I really like Nintendo, but he didn't really, he wasn't a nerd about it mm -hmm. My dad never really played. He never played <laughs> So it's just like I don't have like that but like this next generation coming up we have I mean we have whole like Like if you look online, we have like whole podcasts like YouTube shows like you have all these things that are just centric on the fact that it's just old, like an older generation loving games, but sharing their love for games to a newer generation who also appreciates it. Yeah. Um, we're like we're in the first genera like the first generation that can actually share their love for games, their love for comics, their love for nerddom all together, and we finally have like this generate like the sec this first generation that can share it with like Generation Prime basically. Like Generation Zero, who just like, yeah, we freaking grew up with it. Like I grew up with it, and I was a freaking nerd back in the day, and like you know all the little things about nerds, about being teased and stuff, and like you had your own group because no one understood you. But now everyone like freaking school, just like you watch the round, you watch this, you get the freaking next Call of Duty. It's like everyone's a nerd now. See, so that's it's, why it's like, yeah. what is a nerd? Then? No, what is a nerd? But I think that that's also good because the definition of nerd has become a lot broad. more broad. But also socially acceptable. Yes. So you're not like getting teased anymore. You're just like, no, you're just a nerd. You're it's just like, like being you're just... weird is the new normal. Yeah, being weird is the new cool. Yeah, kind of. Um, it depends. It depends. It depends. <laughs> I always thought that there was a difference between nerd and geek. Because I feel like a nerd is just like very a passionate person who likes certain genres of things. But I feel like a geek is the guy that takes it, or girl, that takes it so far. That it's just like you're such a geek at it that you you get to a point where it's starting to be socially unacceptable, um, <laughs> or at least it's socially I, well, I thought, like awkward. I thought geek is like academically smart or nerdy. Oh, okay, yeah, no, that could be the two things in particular. Come to think of it, yeah, that could be that too. Um, so um, number one is what is number one? <laughs> I think I had something, and I think just like we should just be thankful for like like getting to this point and I, I think we're already talking about it how we're just socially acceptable as nerds like in terms of society like like there are um career you can make an an entire like we're trying to do it on this channel we're making an entire career out of being nerds like our channel is alt nerd which is pretty cool which is cool like you like like nerdom has become so like so acceptable um it's so easy to become one it's so easy to to get to know so, like from anything from comic books to movies to anime to video games like whatever your whatever your thing is like it's like becoming a nerd as you said it's like it's just like nerd is the new whatever normal nerd is the new normal and i think as nerds 
I think we should be hanging before that. I think what you should do when you go to your like turkey day, whatever you want to do, whatever you do on that Thursday, turkey you should day. sit down and you should tell your family, I'm happy for Pokemon. And they're like, okay, KB. And, 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 yeah. and Dragon Ball Super. And I'm thankful for, for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And even a little bit the DC, the DC Extended, maybe. Maybe. Maybe some of them. Wonder Woman. Maybe Joker. Maybe Wonder Woman. Kind of, kind of Aquaman. Well, no. Um, Birds of Prey, if it's good. Um, I'm thankful for for weird tabletop games and and kind of the Dungeons and Dragons. Why not? Yes, let's throw that in. Yes. Yes. I'm thankful. I'm thankful for Apex Legends and maybe to a certain degree I'll give them credit Fortnite. Why PUBG. not? And PUBG and 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 Dark Souls and. What other video games? Light still? Souls, just and kidding. Light Souls. <laughs> Light Souls. Oh, what other games are there? Or just like, um, 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 I'm trying to, League of Legends! I'm looking at like my list, my list of like games that I actually play. Uh, because I don't play articles. Um, you can't even come up with the game. Are you I can't even, huh? I was like, are you really in Oh, we can't play that game. I'm, okay. But I'm also thankful for, um, I'm also thankful for all of you guys. Uh, thank you for an incredible, um, more than half year of Nerd Dirt. I uh, really do appreciate it. Thank you for tuning in. We thank all you nerds for watching. Please like, subscribe if you haven't already. Please tell your friends. Your family. Um, and your family, your, your familia, your dog. Hey, if your dog's got a YouTube channel, and they got more subscribers no, than we do. Age, probably. They probably got more subscribers. Probably they got more. There's like dog Instagrams they now. Follow so us! Like, like for real, subscribe. Inevitable. Click that bell. Thank you guys from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you guys for uh, continually tuning in uh, to Nerd Dirt. It's uh, definitely a very like a passion of mine to just keep talking nerdy with y'all. Um, you'll definitely see some changes down the pipe with Nerd Dirt and stuff um, that hopefully you guys like. But until then, thanks so much. Peace. Take care. Have a good Thanksgiving.